Hey y'all, my name is Vivian and today I'm going to be talking about how you can make walking a fun scavenger hunt activity for you, your friends, and your family. Today I'm in a local park in my town and we're just going to see what we can find in the forest. Don't forget to bring your mask in case you come across other people and with that, let's get started. Some trails have trail markers. Make sure you follow these so you don't get lost. The great thing about walking in nature is that there's so much to see. As you can see in the background, there are so many trees. We got the sun is shining. We have birds chirping in the background. If you listen really quietly, you can hear the crickets chirping. Hey, check it out. I'm standing under a maple tree. You can tell because it has five points on its leaf. Whoa, make sure you watch out for fallen trees. Whee! This is poison ivy. The name says it all. It has three leaves and sometimes a red stem. It can grow on vines on a tree or on the ground. Make sure you don't touch it. You can get very itchy. Did you know that pine cones serve as really good tinder for campfires? Well, now you do. Check out this tree with really strange looking leaves. It's called a tulip poplar tree, but I like to call it a cartoon cat. In the late spring and early summer, the, this tree blossoms with really vibrant yellow and orange flowers. Okay, I think I just found a bee nest. See that little hole that they're all going in? Yup, that's a bee nest. Be very careful and do not disturb them. On this dying tree, I just found two different kinds of mushrooms. The first mushroom is a turkey tail mushroom and they used to use this in ancient Chinese medicine. The second kind of mushroom is back over here. There's a baby one growing over here and a much larger one over there. Dang. So that concludes our scavenger hunt today. Hopefully you're able to get outside and make your own scavenger hunt, finding some of the things I found today and also finding new things. Have fun. I love trees.